Welcome to Mint. I am Jacob Koshi. In this edition of From the Newsroom, we are joined by Ragini Verma, who is going to talk to us about the economic and political implications of the railway fare price hike. Welcome to the show, Ragini. Thank you, Jacob. So, Ragini, first off, uh, what are the actual fare prices that have been proposed, in, uh, hikes that have been proposed by the government, and why is it such a big deal? It's a very, very uh, significant move for the railway per se and a uh, much needed one indeed. The rate hike increases are anywhere between 2 pesa to 10 pesa per kilometer and across uh, sections and this is the first time in 10 years that there has been an across the board increase in the passenger fares. Of course the freight uh, rates have not been touched at least in today's announcement but uh, it is significant because uh, you have to understand that railways have been incurring very heavy losses for a really long time. Uh, the last year losses stand at uh, around 20,000 crore if we round that figure and uh, the expected losses for this particular fiscal will be around 25,000 crore. At the same time, uh, they had seen an increase in uh, input prices, around 10.6% uh, since 2004-2005, and this is the difference between the last fiscal and 2004-2005. Uh, At the same time, there was an announcement in terms of the wage hike increases from the Six Pay Commission, and that brought in an additional burden of 73,000 crore. So there has been all this increase, various sort of increases in the, uh, you know, in the uh, railways expenditures, but they have not been uh, supplemented with increase in revenues. So for a very long time, of course, the passenger uh, rate uh, were not touched and last time around, of but course... given that, let's say, you know, in a, in a, let's say in a thousand kilometer journey, mm -hmm. the actual increases are planning out to be no, no more than 20 rupees every thousand, 20 to 100 rupees every uh, mm -hmm. thousand kilometers. So now, is that, uh, is that really going to make a difference to the fortunes of uh, the railways? And or do you think this is just some, some kind of political tokenism before the budget, before the budget that's going to be announced uh, late next month? Okay, so we have to see it in a perspective in the sense that uh, in the past we've seen even small increases. Of course, many would say this is a very small increase given the fact that for a decade they have le been left untouched. But the fact is they have taken a move in the right direction. This is how one needs to look at it in perspective. Of course, there is a need to increase these passenger fares much more to make up for the humongous losses that the railways has been making. But of course, uh, directionally, it is a very uh, it's a good and positive sign and of course uh, the reason for the immediate hike rather than waiting for the budget uh, could be several. It could be political avoiding those kind of clashes, walk out and you know stand off in the parliamentary sessions but at the same time also the fact that railways needs immediate infusion of say 1200 crore or so for which they did not really wait, want and to finally, wait uh, you know, the what budget. are the kind of uh, responses that have come in let us say from uh, you know the industrial sector as well as the other political classes because last time mm -hmm. when the TMC um, actually did this there was such a big backlash that they had to they had to repeal the hikes mm -hmm. so um, what 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 is the sense that you've getting you've been getting from Okay. What is so experts really feel that this is a much needed move and hence uh, they have done really well in doing it and need to be, uh, that sort of acknowledgement needs to come. Whereas uh, if you will talk about the political parties, even somebody like a BJP, which is the leading opposition, have not really backed it and have asked for a rollback. Also said that, you know, if they really wanted to increase these fares, they should have done it in the railway budget and during that session. But then uh, one has to understand, and I was talking to some experts who gave this interesting figure of how railways, for railways, the cost of carrying per passenger per kilometer comes to around rupees 50 but uh, what they get in terms of revenue just stands at 27 so there's this really big gap that needs to be made up even if it is to be done eventually and the other important aspect is the freight aspect now we follow a policy of cross subsidization mm -hmm. wherein the railways charges a higher fare to the freight segment and subsidizes the passenger side now that makes it uh, economically unviable as compared to the road transport freight rates. So those aspects need to be kept in mind because in the long term they will affect the financial uh, viability of railways in the long run. So clearly we'll have to wait and watch to see what are, the, what are going to be the what is going to be the public reaction to this particular sure. move and whether it actually pans out economically as the government plans it to. Thanks a lot for joining us Ragini. Thank you, Jacob. That's all we have in this edition from the newsroom. Keep watching.